Before we leave Texas and head to Arizona, we decided to stop in San Antonio, Texas. This was our very first time here. Join us as we experience the Alamo and take a stroll on the historic Riverwalk. This was the perfect place for us to just be tourists. We are headed into San Antonio to experience one of the United States most historic locations, the, the Alamo. Alamo. Right, yeah, Edison. Are you excited about seeing the Alamo? Yeah. Hey Garrett, how you feeling? Excited to get into San Antonio. Never been down there before. The last few days, Garrett has been battling a cold. I think Emma has caught it as well. Uh, just the sniffles and you feel a little drained. But we're pumping everybody with vitamins and um, we're gonna be mainly outside. So that should be good to keep our germs from anybody else. Bridges everywhere. Up and down. Up and down. That's what you like about the cities. Yeah, and I even think they go really, really high. Yeah, I like, I like driving through big cities. Though I do like, really like driving through big mountain ranges too. Those yeah. are really pretty. Drury Plaza Town. Oh, I love it. Feel of elevators. Oh, it's scary. Scary. <laughs> oh, at the bottom. Slight detour. We have come to the Arches McDonald's. We just passed um, a gentleman who asked for money for food and we don't carry cash. We saw that McDonald's was just a little little bit away from him and we all needed to go to the bathroom anyway. So we're stopping yeah. in, grabbing yeah. a meal and, and going to go coffee and fries and the soda and burgers and a bunch of condiments. Yep. Yeah, I think he's going to be so happy. Look, he has his own phone like that, but this one, and we got it to walk, and we, and we made it to walk again. I know that the Alamo is a very touristy location, but if you're interested in the history of Texas, this is a must stop. The other place that would be amazing to visit and we hope to visit one of these days is the San Antonio Missions. And the Alamo is actually part of that mission complex in that area. That's gotta be a lot of money. Wow. Yeah. Now the Alamo is most known for the Battle of the Alamo. And this was a pivotal event and military engagement in the Texas Revolution. This was one of the things that helped gain Texas their independence. With simple tools, you clear dirt from around the tree's roots, then lifted it from the ground with block and tackle. Defender of the Alamo. 1836, an 18-pounder cannon similar to the one seen here was mounted to defend the Alamo's southwest corner. The 18-pounder played a legendary role in the prelude to the battle. After a brief parley, the Alamo's commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel William B. Travis, fired a shot in defiance, sending a message of no surrender off in the distance on the bell tower of San Fernando Church. What? An experience. Honestly, it was so cool. Next, we went to the San Antonio Riverwalk. Now, if you don't know about this, it is quite the experience. There is a river that runs right through the middle of San Antonio, and it's almost underneath the city. The water looks a little on the deep side, too. You have rivers that are running through hotels. You have rivers that are running under streets and under buildings, and it was amazing. You're inside the Regency Hotel in San Antonio, and there is a river running through it. Kind of a, a beachy river. <laughs> yeah, you see this hotel, a really, really big hotel. The Hyatt Regency. We are now into the streets of San Antonio. 
into the river walk. Let's go see where we are. Well, if we go that direction, we should be able to cross over. And I think we can, I think the- Where is it? Where's our bar park? It's like right in here. But this, there's a bathroom. So yeah, so if we walk down that way, we cross over. It was really sad that we weren't able to actually spend a little bit more time here in San Antonio, but man, there are so many cool little shops and architecture and things to see while there. Crossing over one of the bridges over the river. We go this way around. If you ever have a chance to come down to the river walk in San Antonio, it's a must. We definitely wish that we had a little bit more time to explore this area because this is pretty large. But uh, we're, we're getting a taste of it. The Alamo is really cool. I really enjoyed it. It's kind of challenging. And now we're experiencing some of the river walk as we head back to our car. Our goal is really to get back out of town before we hit any rush hour traffic. So far it's been a great experience except for kids wanted to go to every single museum and shop that they have anywhere near this place. So they're all like, I want that, I want that, I want that. And I'm like, yeah, we're under a bridge. And that bridge is really low. Almost too low for Eddie. No? Are you sure? So many cool restaurants and places to sit, museums. If you ever make it down to the San Antonio area, this is a must see. Next time we are in this area, we will definitely be spending a lot more time downtown exploring the San Antonio Riverwalk and hopefully the San Antonio missions. It's experiences like these that we treasure with our family. Not only do we get the opportunity to teach our kids history and culture, we also get to just experience some amazing things. This is why we got into this lifestyle to begin with. Now it's time to get back on the road and continue our trek towards Arizona. We're so excited to see what the next few months have in store for Diary of a Family. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and as always, live life intentionally.